Hi beauties! This is the first Beauty Wednesday of December and I have a review for you. Uh, I have um, reviews on products that I purchased at the 99 cents store and at the Dollar Tree. Again, this is a uh, requested video by one of my followers and subscribers and her name is D. And Dee, thank you very much for requesting this video. This uh, I went ahead and made this video specifically per your request and I hope you uh, get some benefit out of the information I am about to give you and everybody else as well. Um, this is the first video that I do reviewing uh, the products that I purchased at the 99 cent store and the Dollar Tree. Uh, I have said before that I do some repurchases for stuff that I like. Um, you know, you will see them on my hauls. Uh, I do mention these are repurchases. Why are they repurchases? Because I did like them. So again, let's review these products and let you know what I think about them, what my daughter thinks about them, because some of them she used more than I did. And I will, uh, give you her input on, uh, the product itself. So let's start by this uh, L'Oreal Repair Remedy Mask. This is for the hair. Uh, you are to use it two to three times a, uh, a week and it is for um, like a conditioning of your scalp and your hair. Um, this is going to be a miss for me even though I did finish it. I went ahead and finished it uh, but I don't like the menthol smell of it. Uh, I didn't know it smelled like this until I got home. Uh, but I do like the way it makes my hair feel. I like the way it makes my scalp feel very moisturized and not uh, uh, weighed or heavy. So um, I again, I did finish it, but it will go on the miss and not a hit because I will not be repurchasing this because of the smell. If you like the menthol smell or like the tea tree smell, uh, I've used some tea tree shampoos before just because it it relieves your scalp. It, it I don't know, I feel like it repairs it. I'm not, not sure if I'm wrong or am I all right, but that's how it makes me feel. I do use it. Uh, but it smells like that, the tea tree, and that menthol smell to me eh, is not my cup of tea. So again, this is a miss, all right? Now we are going to go into this Shea Solutions uh, made uh, with Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. As you can see, it's almost empty. This is the second bottle that I used. The first one I didn't keep, uh, but it... Uh, this is paraben free and so is this just to let you know and this was $1.99 uh, this was uh, a dollar at the Dollar Tree uh, eight full ounces paraben free and it moisturizes detangles and protects I like this this is definitely a hit again this is a repurchase I told you this is the second bottle that I have uh, I even purchased one for my mom and she enjoys it as well and she has more of that coarse curly hair um, but it just, it feels great once you get out of the shower and you have towel dried your hair and you don't even have to dry, towel dry it that much. You apply it uh, into your hair and massage it into your scalp. It moisturizes, it detangles, it just makes your hair feel amazing. Now I will tell you I prefer to use this one uh, when I have my hair curly like today I do have some of it on. Um, but, uh, I really don't use it, uh, when I'm straightening my hair. I feel like this one works better, uh, when I'm, uh, when I have my hair curly, naturally curly. So it does help my curls. Uh, so that is a hit. Uh, the next one is a body wash. Uh, the Pure Silk Spa Therapy Coconut and Oat Flower, uh, body wash empty. <laughs> uh, I am a fan of the coconut uh, smell, the coconut taste, the coconut itself. Uh, not many people uh, I know like coconut, but I do. My daughter doesn't like coconut. So again, this is a miss for her, but this, this is a hit for me. I love the way it, it uh, helps uh, my skin feel moisturized and um, 
when I, I have a lot of, uh, I have issues with dry skin and when my skin gets really dry, it gets itchy. So, uh, I didn't feel that my skin got like that with this. Of course I did use other moisturizers, but this body wash was really good for me. So this is a hit. And I will tell you, uh, as I always say in every, every video that I do when I buy products that are for your hair, your skin, your face, make sure you read the ingredients to see if it is uh, something that you can use. Make sure that it's not, doesn't have anything that you are allergic to. Uh, this says it's enriched with vitamin A, C, and E, along with soothing aloe. So to me, it just felt very good to my skin. And I did purchase more than one. So that's definitely on the hit. Now, the Spa Luxury Body Scrub. Uh, enriched with shea butter and vitamin E. I will tell you, this is going to go on the miss. And the reason for that is because I bought this thinking it was a body scrub. But when you use it uh, in the shower to see, you know, you're thinking it's a body scrub and it does have the granules, but it doesn't have enough. It feels more uh, like a body lotion than a scrub, as you can see. And like I said, it doesn't have enough granules. Oops, I had water. Sorry. <laughs> it didn't have it doesn't have enough granules for me to say that it's a scrub. I don't feel the scrubbing when I'm doing this. I feel like I'm applying lotion. Uh it feels great as a moisturizer, but that's not what I was looking for. So if you're looking for a moisturizer, great. Uh it would be a good hit for you, but if you're looking for a body scrub, that was a miss for me. Would I repurchase it? The answer to that is no. I will finish it because again, it is a good moisturizer, but it's not a scrub, which is what I was looking for. Uh, the next product is also a, a L'Oreal product and it is $1.99. I purchased it for $1.99 at the 99 cent only store. This is the Boosted Blowout Heat Spray. This works great uh, when you're trying to um, uh, straighten your hair and you spray this on when your hair is a bit damp or at least that's what i do uh and then just uh blow dry it and do what i need to do to straighten my hair i do feel that it helps straighten the hair a lot faster um lasting volume and heat protection it doesn't leave my hair super flat so it does what it says uh it's lasting me a very long time and i did purchase more than one uh, so it does say you can use it with all heat tools. So this is a great product for $1.99. Like I said, it does last a long time. It's 5.74 ounces and you spray it all over your hair before you start straightening, whether you want to spray it on dry hair or damp hair. I do damp. Most of my products, I spray them on damp, on my damp hair, just because it works better for me and I don't get frizzes, right? So yes, that is a thumbs up. So that is a hit on the L'Oreal side. I do have another L'Oreal uh, product and this is the only, only facial product that is not a moisturizer or a cleanser. This is a primer. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. Now this is a little one. This is 0.5 full ounces and I paid 99 cents for it, but I thought it was worth it. Uh, it does have SPF 30 sunscreen and it does it does it is a blur i do apply very little of course on my t-zone um but i do like this product and i like that it um has fpf 30. so um i did purchase more than one on these so i do have more than uh more available in uh, my drawers but i do like it i do like it and i did use a lot of this uh during the summer so this is a hit I'm getting more hits than misses, which is good. Now, Salon Selectives. I don't know if you, if any of you know about Salon Selectives. This brand is a very old brand. I grew up using Salon Selectives, but this is something new to me and to my daughter. The Frizz Control Leave-In Smoothing uh, Argan Oil uh, Conditioner. Um, as you can see, there's two empty ones. Have I used this? No, these two my daughter used, and so did my son. Uh, they love it. Uh, she wears this 
puts this in her hair and nothing else and those curls are beautiful detangled very well shaped she loves it she uses only this product and she doesn't have to add any other product to her hair when she's using this so frizz control definitely thumbs up so this is a hit uh and i will say a hit for her because i haven't tried it i bought it but she used both um she has a lot of hair so she went through them uh i say quite quickly compared to me but um i'm thinking she uh in, will be using this a lot more than i will uh but it's um my turn to give it a try but she gave it a hit uh the next one is the dove beauty cream this is empty and this is a repurchase so this is definitely a hit uh this is a great moisturizer that i use it's a dollar uh a great moisturizer that i use for uh, my face um before adding any primer or anything else i love this uh, i definitely use this and i uh, will tell you that i also buy the intensive uh, cream uh, for dry uh, skin the blue one which i use for the rest of my body like my neck area my hands my feet i definitely use that uh, so yes for a dollar thumbs up for that um feels very soft i love the way it smells and it moisturizes it just it's good uh and for a buck you can't beat that uh the other one that i have is this a dermacil oil free facial cream with vitamin e i will tell you i use the daily one and the night uh my daughter uses the same this product here this brand dermasil has been my go-to for her skin when it comes to the eczema it moisturizes and relieves her skin from any of that itchiness and it avoids triggers uh, and i say triggers because of course the heat triggers eczema um, but this is a great great moisturizer we both use it on our face day and night I won't say I use it every month or, you know, I do, once I finish it, I do try other products, but it is a go-to. So this is a hit. We love this product. Um, the next one, Elf Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. Yes, I did purchase it for a dollar. I did purchase more than one. I did finish it. Uh, my daughter did use it too. Uh, she liked it so I can tell you she gave it a hit I really didn't like it because it did help remove the makeup but it feels very oily I still feel like even though it's a cleanser I have to uh, add another cleanser to wipe down that oiliness that oil oily residue that it leaves so this is a miss for me I don't think I'll ever purchase it again if I see it I do I will tell you that it is not a dollar at the elf store or at the elf website but i got it for a dollar at dollar tree so i said i'd give it a try i would repurchase it for her i wouldn't for me um one of my favorite i found this about a month and a half ago and i have been repurchasing this product because it is so so good it is a leave-in treatment keratin and rich argan oil uh so i enjoy uh, applying this when i'm going to straighten my hair it helps straighten my hair and leaves it so so soft uh and it smells it smells amazing it smells like passion fruit so i definitely definitely uh give this product a hit this is a great product to purchase for a dollar. It is 3.4 uh, ounces, but it lasts me quite a bit. I did uh, repurchase uh, more bottles because I had not seen this before. And of course, when you find a good product, uh, it doesn't last long at the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. So I did purchase as many as I could, uh, but this is the one I have in use right now. And you don't need a lot, especially not for short hair. Uh, so I do get like a little dime size it in my hands and then work it into these curls and, and damp again in, when it's damp and then I um, blow dry and do what I need to do to straighten my hair so I love that product very good 
And finally, our last product is a shampoo. Uh, Garnier Whole Blends Refreshing 2-in-1 uh, Green Apple and Green Tea Extracts uh, Shampoo. Uh, I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes my hair feel. Uh, but I will put a miss on this instead of a hit because um, you, if you have issues with um, dryness or a dry scalp, I think you still have to use a uh, conditioner apart from the two-in-one here. I still feel like my hair, it feels good and clean and smells great, but it still has that, it's, it, it kind of dries it out. Uh, I don't feel like it conditions your hair enough. So um, you do have to use another conditioner after this, in my opinion, if you feel like you're, it's drying out your hair. I feel like it takes the oils, too much of the oils out of my hair. So um, I have to use something else. And it is paraben free. So uh, it is $1.99. It is a lot for $1.99. It's 12.5 full ounces. So it is a great deal, but it will go on my miss, not because it doesn't work, but more because it. Uh, I feel like it dries my hair more, more than uh, other shampoos would. Um, and I'm not very uh, keen of the two-in-one, but I wanted to give it a try to see if it did moisturize enough where I didn't need another conditioner. I will tell you though that it, right now that I'm using it, uh, I'm almost done with it, but right now that I'm using it, once I'm done uh, with the shampoo, I don't use a conditioner inside the shower, but I do add my leave-in conditioner definitely um, afterwards because I need that conditioning and moisture back in my hair. Uh, so again, that will be a miss. But besides that, um, everything else was good with that shampoo. Like I said, I love the way it smells. And that is it. That is everything I had to review today. Again, thank you, Dee, for requesting uh, this video, and I hope uh, you're able to watch this and get some benefit out of this. And everyone else that is watching this video, I hope you have gotten some good information out of this review. And if you wish for me to do any more reviews on any other products that you might have uh, seen me purchase go ahead and comment below and let me know don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe thank you for all your support and happy holidays if this is the only video that you see of mine uh you know i love this time of year and uh, i hope you do too and enjoy the rest of the year with your family and friends i will see you next time bye